G'day guys, Chaos Chronicles, alright, well we are back with another business and let's get straight into it, alright, so I'm going to answer another question today and um, so this, this 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 question here is, 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 is very important and I need everybody to pay attention to the message what I'm putting out in this video because it's very, very important and um, I think a lot of you will relate to what I'm about to put out there, you know. So the question that I was asked, and and I was asked in complete confidence, so of course I'm not going to, you know, say who asked me or whatnot, but they asked me, so they're currently going through a, um, a domestic violence, you know, intervention order bullshit with their partner, same kind of thing as other people we know of. And, um, yeah, so anyway... Um, his partner had came around and and started you know doing crazy stuff and 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 he got footage of it and and, and it absolutely contradicts what she's saying she's saying he's the aggressor do you know what i mean and he doesn't want to be a dog you know what i mean so he's not saying anything so um he's got evidence of her that will help him get him his children back and 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 help him get him out of trouble because he's done nothing wrong here this is just another bullshit domestic violence claim and dvi and so the question was will you talking about me think that i am a dog if i give my camera footage to the police so that i can show them that i'm doing nothing wrong here I'm doing absolutely nothing wrong and that she is the aggressor and 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 it will help me get my kids back, you know? Now, what I'm about to say might might actually spin a few of you out, but but here's the reality of it, right? So I had one one question what I needed to ask this person to 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 get where he stands on 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 what he's asking me. And that question was where do you stand in the criminal field, like in the criminal life? Are you a lifelong criminal? Is that you? Is that what you do? Um, are you a lifelong criminal or are you a normal citizen who gets up every day, goes to work, comes home, does family stuff, rah, 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 goes camping on the weekend, all that jazz, do you know what I mean? Or are you a dead set criminal, you know? And his answer to me was that he was a normal member of society. He is not a criminal. And so I said, so then how are you being a dog if you're not even a criminal? So here's the point in my whole message here, right? So I think it's just the way that society is these days. You know, everyone knows a crook. Everyone knows someone that sells a bit of, this a bit of that everyone knows someone that's been to prison so you know this 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 whole g code thing has 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 really you know gotten itself into households where where it usually wouldn't you know where you've got people that are just normal everyday run-of-the-mill citizens general citizens of our community and you know upstanding citizens of our community that 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 are that invested in this G-code bullshit that they will not even lag, like they won't even, like they're worried about people saying that they're lagging over them protecting their family and, and this and that. So my answer to that was, no, I'm not going to think you're a dog. Absolutely not at all. Like I'm not going to think that you are a dog for doing that. And the number one reason for that is because you are not a criminal. So therefore, you're not being a criminal. You're being a normal citizen member of this community that does trust in our police and does, you know, use the police for what it's there for. You know, a lot of people don't, but, you know, the general public will generally do that. And if that's what you are, a, a member of the general public and not a member of some criminal fraternity, then you are absolutely not being a dog. And I know for a fact that there's so many dudes out there right now 
that are doing it so hard. Like, I'm one of them. There's so many dudes that are doing it right now so hard because they don't want to be called a dog. You know what I mean? Now, I said to him also that would I go to the police and do things that way? Absolutely not. But that is because I have lived my whole life by this G code and still in a roundabout way live my life by this G code. Do you know what I mean? And so, yeah, I guess my message is, you know, all this rap music bullshit, you've got all these young people growing up thinking that they're gangsters because they listen to a bit of 1-4, a bit of Mercs, a bit of this, a bit of that, you know what I mean? Most of these people are spitting them raps anyway, singing about trying to get out of the hood, not staying in there, or people that aren't even a part of the hood trying to become a part of the hood, all because of this rap scene. And and, and now because of social media, you know, you've got people that are, are so invested in this bullshit and, like, you know, what I would say is that, you know, what an absolute solid, staunch, staunch individual you are to ask me that question. You're a normal member of society and you're sitting there at home knowing that you've got evidence in your hand that will get your family back. You know this. You've got it. It's there. It's going to help you get your family back or not, you know. But you stuck fat and you were like, I'm not a dog and I don't want people to think that I'm a dog, you know. Um you know, and, 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 and to be honest, my heart kind of bleeds for you, mate, because, like, I know exactly where you're coming from to start with. But, um, like, I also know what it's like. Do you know what I mean? To, to Like, you, you could, you could, like, it's just shit, you know what I mean? Like, especially this day and age, us fathers have not one say in the court, you know, so... I feel where this guy comes from, exactly where he's coming from and, and and I know where he's coming from, where he wants to be solid and he doesn't want anyone to think he's a dog. Do you know what I mean? But here's also the other the other reality to that story is like who gives a fuck what anyone else thinks anyway? Do you know what I mean? Even if you are a part of that criminal world, like I'm not saying go on out there and be a snitch, go out there and snitch your deal or this and that. It's absolutely not what I'm saying. I'm just saying like, I don't know, man, our society's got to a place where where, where it's – it's kind of funny because, like, it's the opposite in America right now. They're, they've got this whole snitching campaign going on where it's it's kind of okay to snitch and, and this and that. Um, and, you know, do I agree with it? Absolutely not. It's not the way I live my life. But just because I choose to live my life like that and I put my message out to you guys, that doesn't mean that that's the way that you should live your life. Do you know what I mean? Absolutely listen to my message and what I'm saying. And and I'm telling you that this G-code is bullshit. But unfortunately, you know, um, I've got like some things, you know, there's an old adage that, you know, a leopard can't lose its spots or whatever, you know, and, and, and that's kind of what it's like with me. Like I'm not going out there and committing crime every day, this and that, but will I bring hell to you if you fuck with me and my family? Absolutely. And you better believe that. Like I will go old school in a heartbeat like that. Yeah, I will go old school in a second and I will snap and don't get that twisted. Do you know what I mean? Am I a law-abiding citizen every day, normal, upstanding citizen of the community these days? Absolutely. Yes, I am. And that's who I will be to the day I die. But like I said, will I bring oh, fire and brimstone to you if you mess with me and my family? Do you know what I mean? Um, but you know, that does not mean that I'm a criminal and it doesn't mean that, you know, it just means that, that I live a certain way and, and, and I ain't changing for squids, you know, for nobody. So, and that's a fact. So I guess this, this is what I'm saying, you know, people need to check themselves right now. And a lot of people have got themselves thinking that they're a gangster, um, you know, just because they've watched a couple of movies and they listen to music or all the boys at school are doing it and this and that. 
believe me, guys, this ain't the road you want to go down. Take it from somebody who spent their whole uh, adolescence and adult life trying to make myself the best criminal I could be. And all I did was made myself the best prisoner I could be. And like, and that's the truth of it. I've said it once, I'll say it again. There's only two kind of cubes or boxes you are going to end up in in this criminal life. One of them is a prison cell and one of them doesn't have a fucking door on it and it's called a coffin. And that is the bleak reality of where you guys are headed. So listen to my word. Listen to somebody who grinded for 20 years for nothing. For what? I wanted everybody out there to think I was the craziest person on this planet and all it did was made every person on this planet think that I was the craziest person on this planet and it brought about nothing but fucking dramas and this and that, you know. Trust me, people. Be humble. Humble yourself. Do you know what I mean? Go kick back with your family this weekend. Go do this, do that. There's no need to go out this weekend punching on with your mates at risk of getting stabbed or macheted or God knows what they're... Mate, they're probably carrying around plasma cutters these days. Who knows? Use youth of friggin' mental and like... Yeah, it's just it's just not worth it, guys. And, and take it from somebody who's been there and done that. You know, like I said, this life will only end you up in two boxes kind of boxes do you know what i mean and and well that's three kind of boxes a court box a prison box and a coffin box and they're the only boxes and they're your only option i promise you you know all this bikey life this and that you know money this and that like drug dealing this and that it all seems very appealing from the outside but the amount of bullshit that you have to go through to get that done is just crazy and it ain't worth it. So, yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. Um, that is my answer to that question, brother. And, um, yeah, if you guys haven't subscribed, jump up there, shoot me a subscribe. I would be absolutely amazed and I would be absolutely appreciative um, should have been the word I said. And, um, yeah, I would really, really love that. And uh, if you subscribe and you hit that bell, you will never miss any of my clips. And like I said, we've got some good stuff coming up. I've got my uh, brand new camera, what we're going to be going out and getting on that street and doing a bit of uh, this and that. Like I said, I don't want to spoil it too much. Watch this space, guys. I've been the Chaos Chronicles. I am also the guy who decides if you and your friends walk out of here or not.